A Fox News alert on the heated battle between a Nevada rancher and the federal government over grazing rights. Federal agents deciding to call off efforts to seize the cattle ranchers heard after a very tense standoff. Welcome to a brand new, our Inside of America's News headquarters. I'm Arthel Neville. And I'm Greg Jarrett. Thanks for being with us. Uh, well, certainly a roller coaster chain of events as protesters who supported the rancher blocked a section of this interstate earlier today, and some of them even brought guns. William Lajeunesse joins us now live from Nevada. William? Well, Greg, as Arthal said, some tense moments today in this dispute, a standoff. Three dozen police in SWAT on one side of a highway, two to three hundred protesters on the other, blocking Interstate 15. Armed, they refused to leave unless feds would release cattle that belonged to Clive and Bundy. Tensions high. Some of the protesters stormed the BLM gate unsuccessfully. They negotiated, sat down. The BLM has agreed to release two to 400 cattle. By almost any account, a misjudgment on the federal government's part. Last night, there was no sign of them backing down on a conference call. They had seized 400 cattle. They had destroyed fences, corrals, and water tanks on federal land. They said as a last resort, because they said Bundy had for, for 20 years graze cattle illegally on land that is now dedicated to an endangered desert tortoise. They had no choice. They thought Bundy did not have the resources to fight. They misjudged the response of a sympathetic rural America, so-called patriots and armed militia who adopted his fight as theirs. They said they believed many of these individuals we talked to that government was over-regulating their business, interfering with their way of life. They also misjudged the terrain. The cattle they got was the low-hanging fruit down on the river, up in the highlands, the mountains, and in the canyons, much more difficult. They had seven days, eight helicopters, and the numbers were dwindling. Also trying to secure 600,000 acres of manpower, that was draining. Finally, you had those free speech zone. Those didn't work. They went down after one day. Many, however, see Bundy as this freeloader, this outlaw, who is basically putting his cattle on federal land and not paying for it. Others, of course, see him as a folk hero, the last rancher in Clark County. Fifty-two others had folded. They are out. He is the last guy. He would not give up, not abandon this way of life. At this point in time, the BLM says, hey, we're going to try to negotiate this uh, through administrative and through the judicial branches. Um, and again, those, those uh, cattle should be released. Lee Greg and Arthel in the next hour or so. Back to you. William, thanks very much.